This is the E177FP from Dell, a VGA only panel with a resolution of 1280 by 1024. Back in the day, I thought this was the peak in 4x3 monitors, but when I saw this, the 2007 FPB with a resolution of 1600 by 1200, I knew I had found the true king of the hill in the land of Dell Ultra Sharps. But it's a super light, a super duper duper light we live. Yes, it's a super light, a super duper. Whether it's 4 by 3 or widescreen, I've always loved and wanted a monitor from this era of Dell, and I finally got one. The silver and black colour scheme screen premium, the 20 inches of screen real estate is plenty for everything you want to do, and that paired with the 1600 by 1200 resolution, the screen looks incredibly good, and with a refresh rate of 75Hz, all of your games will run with a silky smooth experience. The stand is extremely versatile, allowing extremely smooth tilt, and the ability to move up and down and along with a portrait option if that's what you're into. And in most cases, the stands of all Ultra Sharps are intercompatible. Moving to the ports, this is the best part of the 2007 FPB. You've got your standard VGA and DVI of the era, but moving along, you get a retro gamer's dream. S-Video and Composite, in a monitor. This can allow people to play their Xbox games at their desk without having to go to their TV, and that's always welcome. Along with a built-in USB hub to allow many peripherals to be added to your system, and even availability to add a Dell branded soundbar to get the best of your desk space and have your speakers and monitor in one enclosed structure. If you want the widescreen experience, you can grab yourself the 2007 WFP, the same 20 inch experience with all the ports and luxuries, but in a 16x9 format. All in all, what I'm trying to get across to you in this video is that I absolutely love these old Ultra Sharps. They really do compete with some of the newer budget options in the tech world. The only drawback with an older display is obviously the lacking in advanced technology. This thing isn't a competitive gamer's dream with a response time of 16 milliseconds. It also isn't the most energy efficient monitor, consuming about 75 watts of power compared to a newer Ultra Sharp such as the U2414H, which only consumes 16 watts. The 2007 FPB is also an LCD display, meaning more waste energy is dissipated from the monitor, which can easily make it stuffy and very hot in your space. But if you can deal with this heavily aged and chunky monitor design in 2020, I'd wholeheartedly recommend that if you're looking for a good budget monitor, even just as a secondary display, Get one of these old ultra shops, and you won't regret it. Whoa, 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 okay. We aren't gonna end the video without a little celebration. Thank you guys for one and a half thousand subscribers. That is absolutely mental, you guys are crazy. Thank you for helping me hit this milestone. And I can't wait for more content to come. This year is gonna be the year of TechWent, I promise you guys, and Thank you for continuing to watch my content. So, with that, now the intro can actually roll. See you in the next one.